Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining today, joining to webinar with Colo City. Today we have Mr. Fuad, Head of Sales and Marketing from Colo City, to share about the company, and Mr. Piyush Mathur, Senior Sales Engineer from Sunacor, to share about the new and exciting Zimbra 9. Before we begin, I would like to inform you that this is a recorded webinar. We will be sharing the recording after um, at the end of in the follow-up email. We will have a Q&A session at the end of the presentation, but throughout the presentation, you can ask any question using the Q&A box. You can locate the Q&A box at the right panel of the screen. So without further, any, uh, without further ado, I will pass the present. Hello, everybody. Good morning. We hope you, your colleagues, and all your families are staying safe and doing well during this pandemic. On these difficulties, we first of all want to give you a big thanks to join on this webinar sessions. My name is MD Alpur, Head of Sales and Marketing, Polo City Limited. I will not make my session too longer because there are more interesting topics which will be covered by the Juma team. In here, I'm just give you a brief idea about Polo City Limited. We, the Polo City Limited, uh, is the first tier three commercial and area neutral data center in Bangladesh. We have started our journey since 2008 and running our operations by ensuring guaranteed 98.99% uptime. In our journey, we have passed several events. Collocation centers are specially facilities that provided disaster resilient physical infrastructure uninterrupted power with effective cooling and precision control environment with highest service level that ensure high availability of customer mission critical environment. Collocation facility have the following properties which are not found in the most commercial offices. Multiple service options designed to tier three data center specification concurrently maintainable. Backup power supplies, N plus N, get generator and UPS. Precision climate control, air conditioning, environmental monitoring, race floor for structured cabling, authorized visitor access on 24 by 7, multiple carriers links to connect anywhere, managed service, dedicated rack space, shared rack space, and world class internet bandwidth services. Collocation boosted solution have the following direct benefits, reduce organizations and infrastructure complexity, reduce and effectively manage the IT budget, increase system availability and reliability, improve overall asset utilization, improve overall ease of service deployment, simplify and standardize process and procedures, effectively scale to meet growing business needs. So if the IT team become free to manage the infrastructure, they can involve themselves in other IT related aspects of business needs. Our service portfolio, we have categorized our scope of works in three different major segments, I and I, in, in infrastructures and internet, in where we are providing data center and colocation service, internet, dedicated server or bare metal, IT infrastructure management, and Microsoft Azure Cloud. IoT, Internet of Things, Joomla business class email solution, hosting solution, video surveillance solution, software, hosted NTS spam service, Microsoft Office 365. We have another SBU, ICOM Bangladesh Limited, which is a central journal ISP under the brand name Pink Limited. We provide IP-based, secure, flexible, robust, and best-in-class enterprise solution to corporates and residents. Ping Limited is a connected with three IIGs for the internet bandwidth to reach the maximum upstream and internet gateway. We are connected both SMW4 and 5 and as well as private ITC. Our upstream NTTN and NIX and IIG partners are Level 3 Carrier Limited, Novocom Limited, Summit Communication, PDX, 
fiber at home and AMRA mix. Our infrastructure partner, we are using the solutions who are already hold the world leading positions in infrastructure. The Emerson, Jikins, Parkins, Super Micro, Barracuda, Dell, Cisco, Microsoft, Jimra, and so on. In our collocation facility, there are already 30 plus leading ISPs are presented in our center. So if required, you may have the options to get the bandwidth services from any of them or else can get connectivity by your nominated ISPs. Our strategic partner, Chimra as Cinecore Products, Dell Technologies, and the NTSPM solution from Barracuda. Here you will have a glimpse of idea about the IP reachability from our gateway to any desired locations around the world. We have 24 by 7 monitor and support center with full of dedicated skilled engineers. The service we are offering with the Colocity Limited are offering the below services beside the colocation facility. The dedicated server or the bare metal we are offering the dedicated servers. When you rent a dedicated server, you may use the complete hardware performance and server connections of your rented server system by saving your capex. Our servers are powered by Dell Technologies and Supermicro. The NTS web service, in addition to keeping email born attacks outside the network, the Barracuda email security service is the top class solution around the world, which provides email continuity and data leakage prevention at one affordable price. Business class email hosted solution, additional being in the forefront of technology and innovation in Bangladesh, we have recently introduced email system to the best collaboration platform. Jimra for Linux based hosted license services. Jimra service, a complete email and collaboration solution with high availability for the end customer. In Jimra, enterprise security and privacy, easy integration with apps, real time backup and restore, global address book, calendar sharing, mobile synchronization, archiving and discovery, simple administration and maintenance, and many other features. The Jimra has. Velocity Limited has become the BSP business service provider partner of Jimra, a Cinecore product on 5th July 2019. Completed the configuration and UAT on 10th October 2019 and onboard our very first customer on Jimra Solutions, Hangtong BD, concern of Sterling Styles Limited on 15th October 2019. A hosting service, we have identified that there is a huge potentialities of hosted email services. We have also identified that Jimra is one of the best email solution with its various features and operating on Linux platform, which is very user friendly. To reduce the device or workstation dependency, Jimra is the ultimate full packages. In Bangladesh, there are many companies who are already using Jimra as open source and free versions. In free version or open source, there have some features limitations and patches are not updated in regular basis. So there is always challenge for the most updated securities. Policity Limited has offered this email service as hosted model from own cloud by integrating with world-class NTSPAM solution, Barracuda NTSPAM, to make this service more secure and authentic. To ensuring the high availability, we are using redundant infrastructure or servers along with storage facilities. Velocity Limited has become the BSP and CSP partner with Dell Technologies. Velocity is the first and only company in Bangladesh as Dell CSP cloud service partner. 
Now I am passing this session to Jimra team to have more idea about Jimra license solutions it has. So I uh, request to Anand and to have more idea about the Jimra. Thank you for it. Just a gentle reminder, um, you can ask questions, uh, just key in your question in the Q&A box. You can locate the Q&A box on the right hand uh, of your screen. So I will now pass the presentation over to Piyush, Mr. Piyush Mator, Senior Sales Engineer of Senecor, to share about Simbra 9. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Serene. Uh... Uh, just a confirmation can you see my screen yes i can okay uh good morning everyone and thank you for joining in this uh, webinar today uh so and thank you for for taking us through the uh, partnership that uh, we carry with polo city and your experiences with with Jimbra so far right so yeah so uh, we will be uh, running through what's new in Zimbra 9 and uh, We'll try and do a quick uh, demo on the new UI features of uh, Zimbra. So Zimbra 9 uh, uh, was released uh, early this year. And some of the key features that Zimbra 9 has today, or what's new in Zimbra 9, is basically uh, we have a modern uh, UI. The UI in, uh, user interface has a completely changed. It is a modern UI. It is more extensible. It is more easy to customize. Uh, you know, it's uh, easy to, you know, kind of brand <clears throat> to your own uh, look and feel. And as always, uh, Zimra does, uh, you know, respect your data security, uh, data privacy, and sovereignty. Uh, uh, and therefore, Zimra is a real choice for your, you know, for yourself to adopt and deploy in your own data centers in the country. And then, uh, lastly, uh, but not the least, we have a choice of UI, so which means if you are a use Zimbra user already and are fond of uh, the classic UI, uh, we give you a choice of switching between the classic and the new UI. <coughs> then the Zimbra 9 UI, this is how it looks like. Uh, it is an adaptive UI. The look and feel of uh, Zimbra 9 is exactly the same that you see in front of, us, of your screen now. Uh, it is. The, the user experience really does not change when you're accessing it from a from a mobile browser or a laptop or even from a tablet. So the end user experience really does not drop uh, when you change your you know access mechanism. So you will be able to get all the features from uh, any of the devices that you are uh, trying to access your emails from. Now, Zimbra uh, has always been, you know, uh, open and, uh, you know, customizable. And taking this, uh, you know, tradition ahead, uh, you know, we have always had integrations with, you know, homegrown applications and third-party applications. Uh, Zimbra now has new framework for Zimlets, and therefore we have developed some, you know, uh, integrations with uh, some of the cool business applications that you may already be using. So if you're using Slack, if you're using Dropbox, if you're using Zoom, uh, if you're using, using OneDrive, if you're using Google Drive, uh, there are many more integrations that we have done and will be coming uh, along the way. So we will make sure that your investments in these technologies are safe. We don't want you to just you know, dump those technologies and start using uh, Zimbra all, all the way. Uh, if you really want to you know, experience an integration with Zimbra and the existing business applications, we have them uh, already there. We have them already integrated. So you can just go ahead and start uh, using them. Deployment of Zimlets has always been easy. Uh, uh, you know, it's not, it's not really changed uh, from what it was earlier. So the interface of the right, you see uh, the admin interface where you can just go ahead and browse for the Zimlets and deploy it. Uh, the interface on the left shows the end user uh, interface where the user can see what all Zimlets are uh, available for him to you know use. So, so the interface, uh, uh, the admin interface has really not changed. It is pretty easy to manage. It's pretty easy to deploy. 
uh, these inlets that you have or you uh, de develop for your own. <clears throat> uh, Zimra uh, respects your privacy, which means we uh, do not create any intelligence around your data. We make sure that the data is uh, for you for, for always. We do not mine your data to create uh, you know, intelligence around it. We respect your data sovereignty, which means uh, we give you a choice of deployment, whether you want to deploy uh, it within your data center or in a data center within your country or geography of your company. Right? So there is no mandate to deploy Zimbra outside uh, of your country. So it will be within your geography. And security always, because in these times when you are accessing emails from uh, different locations, different devices, uh, the email has to be really secure. So Zimra supports some of the key security features of uh, S-Mine, two-factor authentication, you know, uh, MAPI, remote wipe, all of that out of the box. <clears throat> this is the, uh, you, know, uh, you know, choice of UI that Zimra provides. So if you want to use the classic UI, which is the UI that you see in the front, uh, if you're really fond of the, the legacy one, uh, you can keep on using the classic UI. And if you really want to experience the, uh, the new UI features, the new integrations and everything, uh, you, the Zimra 9 UI provides you that change uh, of uh, choice of use of Zimra interface. Zimra 9 uh, supports complete customization and rebranding of logos. So if you really want to change uh, your logos, your own color schemes, uh, your themes, everything, uh, you can completely rebrand uh, the Zimra interface to look as if it is your own organization's, uh, uh, you know, uh, email service and not really, you know, uh, coming from Zimra. So you can white label, put your own logos, everything can be changed. And lastly, but not the least, uh, the, these are the key benefits of uh, using Zimra. Uh, Zimra has the lowest cost of ownership in the email software. Uh, and that's not just because of the license cost, because of some of the key uh, features that Zimra has, uh, like a native backup, uh, which is a real-time backup, uh, which means you can restore email up to the very last minute. Uh, the Every email that comes in gets backed up, features like dumpster, features like native two-factor authentication, hierarchical storage management, and many others uh, that uh, you really have don't have to buy third-party tools uh, to deploy and you know, create a robust email environment. So the, so the email software is, provides the lowest cost of ownership amongst all other uh, players. Zimra is secure. Uh, we respect your privacy and uh, the data sovereignty so you are free to deploy it in your own country within the laws of your own country. It's pretty easy to scale uh, from a very small deployment to a very, very large deployment. So you can just keep on adding more servers with more roles as uh, you really grow uh, from a smaller deployment to the large ones. So you don't have to redo everything every time uh, you think uh, to grow. Just add more services, add more roles uh, to the environment, and it's pretty easy uh, to scale. So anywhere, anytime, and any device access. So again, as I said, uh, in today's time, when you are, uh, you know, most of us are working from homes and using multiple devices, the data has to be secure. Uh, so Zimbra supports native two-factor authentication. Zimbra supports things like remote wipe, so if you think you have lost your mobile device, if you think you have lost your uh, tablet, uh, you can remotely wipe out data on that device. You can also allow only specific devices uh, to access your emails. So if you have got three devices, uh, two mobile phones, one tablet, and you only want emails to be accessed from uh, a single device, uh, you can restrict the user uh, to access email from a specific device also. So you can kind of control the uh, access of uh, email from multiple devices. 
uh, you have choice of deployment whether you want to do it uh, on premise in your own data center you want to do it in a cloud a private cloud or a public cloud or you want to do it a hybrid environment which means some of your users are on zimbra cloud some of user of your users are <clears throat> on a zimbra on prem deployment some of your users are using uh, other third party email services and some users being on zimbra all of those are pretty uh, easy to do so any kind of hybrid uh, you want it's pretty simple and pretty okay to uh, do those kind of uh, hybrid deployments with zimbra zimbra is open core which means as a as a as a customer you are entitled to review the source code as a customer if you really want to uh, you know contribute into the source code of zimbra uh, you will have access to the source code to review and contribute uh, to the source code uh, of the product so uh, zimbra 9 uh, i really uh, encourage uh, a lot of you to you know adopt try and start using zimbra 9 uh, who all are entitled for using Zimbra 9 are basically uh, existing customers who are under active support, as the existing partners who are uh, BSP partners are entitled for active support. You can reach out to your local local resellers to uh, you know try out uh, Zimbra 9. Uh, so that's uh, that's about the presentation. I will now uh, switch over to. Sorry, switch over to a quick uh, demo of the Zimra 9. Serene, uh, can you please confirm you can see my browser? Yes, Peter, we can see your browser. Thank you so much again. So, uh, so when you log in, uh, this is the new Zimra 9 UI. Uh, you have a choice of switching between the classic UI, as I said. So, if you're fond of uh, the classic UI, just click on this gear and you get a choice of uh, switching uh, to the legacy or the classic UI as we call it. Uh, the settings tab, uh, at the language tab, you have a choice of uh, switching between languages. These are the ones that are currently available and we will have more uh, languages as we go ahead uh, in the future, right? So you can go to the settings tab and this is where you will define your you know, preferences, your uh, default fonts, your signatures, uh, your filters, your out of office messages, if you define them, uh, your whitelists and blacklists, all of them can be defined right here. Uh, the, the zimlets that you see or the add ons that you see here, I have got uh, some of these zimlets that are deployed. So I've got a Google Drive integration, I've done a Slack integration, uh, I've done a Dropbox integration. I've not done a Zoom integration as of now. So uh, you can do that as well. So how do you do a one drive in? So I've already done Google integration. So uh, you see this here. Uh, but if I have to do a one drive integration, for example, uh, I will click on this. I will click on activate. It will pop me uh, for a uh, for the Microsoft credentials. I can put my Hotmail ID or an Outlook ID here, and then just say next. It will uh, you know kind of integrate my one drive into into Zimbra. Uh, so. We will just see this integration uh, a little while later when I go to the Compose window. So this is where you do your uh, Zimlets integrations uh, or your Zimlets configuration, I would say, uh, as an end user. Uh, you can put your profile picture here. Uh, so you, if you want to change your profile picture, you can put your uh, profile picture right here. Uh, and you can see a profile picture of uh, you know uh, people who have also put their profile picture. So if I have got Eugene, uh, as a, as my colleague, so Eugene has put his profile picture here, so I can see uh, his photograph uh, that he would have put in his uh, profile. And if I see Anand, for example, uh, so Anand has not put his uh, profile, in, you know, any of his profile image. So I can see uh, people who have uh, kind of uploaded their profile pictures uh, right here in the compose window. And if you, I, if I want to see the uh, integrations of uh, Google Drive and OneDrive, so if you see this, I have, as I said, I have integrations uh, with Dropbox and Google Drive. So uh, I can send a file 
in two ways. I can either send a file uh, as just as a link. So I, I just click here, it will open my Dropbox window, and I will click here. So it will attach uh, a hyperlink in my in my uh, body of my email. The user will just get, get this hyperlink, and uh, once he clicks on this, can download uh, this specific PDF. Or if I want to send it as a as a file, as a file that which is attached in the body of the message, uh, I can just uh, you know kind of patch this or go back here. Uh, Use this file, so it will attach this file depending on the how, size of the band, and it will kind of attach this file in the message body. Uh, so depending on how I really want to send a large file, uh, I can do that. Similarly, I can do it for Google Drive, OneDrive, uh, Dropbox. Uh, I, you've already seen, uh, and we now also have integrations with uh, uh, Nextcloud. So if you uh, have any of those deployments, you can do it right from uh, this interface as well. So if you have a file within the briefcase, you can do that right from here itself. Uh, similarly, uh, if I want to show you an integration with uh, Slack, uh, for example, uh, uh, so if I open this email, I have one of my colleagues who has a Slack account. Uh, she is not available right now. so. Uh, so this is her presence that I can see uh, again uh, in Slack. So if you have a Slack account, uh, you know I can just click here. It will open my Slack desktop. And if you see my Slack, uh, I've got two accounts on my. Uh, so I've got two uh, workspaces on my Slack. So this is the Zimra demo account. Ellen is not available. If you see here. And I could see her presence uh, right in the inbox as well. So this is what it says: if she is not available, and if I go to my Slack client, uh, she is not available either. So I can actually see uh, if if uh, she was available, I could have just clicked here, and this would invoke the Slack client, and I could just have started a Slack chat with uh, Ellen from within my inbox itself. So that's the Slack integration, uh, basic uh, calendaring of information about. You know, uh, test meetings, uh, on call. So, like, if I want to invite free busy information, I can just see it right, right here itself. So, those integrations are already there. Uh, so, uh, jumping on to uh, the drive Zimra drive integration. So, Zimra drive is basically uh, an interface where I can create documents, uh, I can upload uh, documents, and actually do a uh, you know, real time collaboration. So, hey, uh, for this demo, I will just create a new uh, spreadsheet and I say, uh, so uh, this is a document uh, presentation that, uh, sorry, a uh, spreadsheet that I just created. I will just open this uh, and I can, you know, kind of made, make changes here. But if I really want, you know, other team members to, uh, Collaborate and you know do real time editing. I will right click and say edit shares, and I will uh, I will add Anand in this uh, edit. Give him permissions of edit and share add, and I will add Eugene. I will add him as well. Give him access to this and close this. So uh, if you see this document, I have shared this with two people, Anand and Eugene. Uh, they will see it in. Uh, a view called shared with me so they will see it here and i can see it here so uh, this is my i can see it in my home and i can also view it in uh, shared by me interface so i go here and open colo city demo and so if you see uh, even before i uh, open this document i can see anand and eugene uh, already typing some you know text here uh, so so me uh, three the three of us are doing a real time uh, collaboration and if you see here there are three people who are logged in uh, to uh, this document and similarly i can uh, download this document as a as a, a microsoft attachment type 
So if I want to download as, a, as an Excel or as a PDF, I can do that. Or if I just click here and save it, uh, it will get saved. Uh, similarly, uh, I can create presentations, I can create Word documents, and this is a spreadsheet that uh, you are just viewing right now. So uh, this is a real-time document collaboration, and I can even share it internally, or if I want to share it uh, outside this domain, I will just click on Edit Shares, I will click on Generate Link, uh, I will say Public, uh, you know, make it public, uh, and if I want to password protect it, it will generate a random password or if I just go here and say and I can just copy this link here and share it with the uh, with anybody in, in the body of my message and that person will get uh, access to my uh, document that you see here. Uh, similarly, uh, uh, Zimra Drive, uh, Zimra, uh, Zimra Connect is another uh, uh, you know integration that we have. This is basically uh, one to one and a one to one a text chat and a video chat. So if I say text chat, I, I just, uh, if I go back to my inbox, uh, I first do a one-to-one -one text chat and I say, so I can start do, uh, start uh, a, a text chat, a one-to-one -one text chat with Anand or uh, uh, with uh, Eugene as well. So I can start, uh, so Anand is just responding. So this is a one-to-one -one chat uh, that me and Anand uh, are doing, or maybe one-to-one -one chat between me and Eugene. But if I really want to have more people in the chat, I can actually create a group. Uh, so if you see, this is a group called APAC uh, Sales. Uh, I am the administrator of this group, and I've got like seven people in this group right now. Uh, so me, Eugene, and Anand are online. Uh, the others are not, but we can still start uh, chatting here as well. Uh, right, so we can start doing a quick, uh, you know, quick, uh, you know, uh, video chat, uh, text chat right here uh, amongst the group. I, as an administrator, can manage the uh, membership of this group. So if I really want to uh, remove somebody from this group, I can do that. If I want to add more people in this group, I will just click here and add more people in this group uh, by typing their names. So, we just add add somebody here. So, or if I want to do a a, a video call, uh, I can do a I can even do a one to one video call. Uh, I just click here and open a, a video call from here. Uh, so this will. Uh, open a video call interface which is between me and Anand only. Uh, you may not be able to see uh, uh, the video call because uh, that's me. Uh, and uh, if I want to really do a video call amongst uh, the group, I can just click on this group and all the people who are online uh, at this moment uh, will be able to view uh, or will be able to do a group chat uh, within this interface itself. So the basic idea of Zimra 9 is when a user comes to this office, to his office, and when, he, when a user starts his business in the office, he really does not go out of a single interface to do anything, whether it is email, whether it is collaboration, whether it is documents, uh, anything. The user really does not have to you know, step out of this interface to do any of his other business activities. Uh, I, I am done uh, with my demo. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, and I will uh, leave it open for the Q&A session now. Thank you so much. Thank you, Piyush. So before we head on to Q&A, uh, Fuad has a few, another three or four more slides to share. So uh, Fuad, I'll pass it over to you. Hello, everyone. Again, I have uh, Rijan. Now uh, we are talking about uh, the packages and the uh, offering we are providing from Kulu City as the BSP partner of Jimra. Considering the requirement, we have uh, made some packages as below, individual per user licenses or a special bundle offer. In Jimra license, there are four categories plan we are introducing. One, we have designed this plan with PPGB of a space per mailbox and 
Paracuta anti-spam service, both incoming and outgoing module. Features are in the Jimra professional edition, the basic email, address book, global address list, document preview, group and resource calendar, calendar scheduling, files and folder. Actually, the maximum Jimra features are enabled in this package. Jimra standard edition. The second package, we have designed this plan with 5 GB space per mail box, with, including with the Barracuda and spam solution. In here, few are uh, lower than the professional edition. And third plan is Jimra Business Plus edition. We have designed this plan with 2 GB of space per mailbox and NTSPAM Barracuda solutions, both incoming and outgoing. Uh, in Jimra Business Plus edition, it's a very basic features of Jimra services, basic email, address book, global address list, calendar, pop, IMAP, email, mobile web plan, emails for smartphones, card drive, contact, live chat. And the fourth one is a very lower options, the Jimra Business Edition. Basically, we are not recommended the Jimra uh, Business Edition uh, because it has only 2 GB space, but it is very basic features of our uh, orthodox concepts of the Q mail and the X mail, uh, similar of that. Uh, in here, only the basic email and address book and the calendar is not available, only the POP and IMAP. These are the features that are available in the Jimra Business Edition. The price are written in the right column of the uh, table. The Jimra Professional Edition per user license per month is 250 taka. Jimra Standard Edition 5 GB space, which is 180 taka per user per month. Jimra Business Plus Edition 120 taka per user per month. And the Jimra Business Edition only single, the 80 taka per user per month. Apart from that, we have also another bundle that is called a special bundle offer. In the special bundle offer, you will see that we have some slabs that 10 user slab, 25 user slab, 50 user slab, and 100 user slab. In 10 user slab, the, under the single domain, one professional edition, one standard edition, and eight business plus edition will be bundled and the monthly price will be only 1200 taka for the 12 25 user one professional four standard plan and 20 business plan 3000 taka per month 50 user bundle five professional five standard and 40 business plus edition which is 6000 taka in here it is 6300 but it is actually 6000 taka 100 user bundle slab 10 professional 20 standard and 70 business plus. The price of that is 13,000 taka per month. To introduce in Jimra as a Colocity uh, premium product, we have some promotional offer. And this, including this promotional offer, we'll provide one month free trial. If anybody, uh, if any company are interested, to have a test run with the Jimra features and facility to check the Jimra environment, you are most welcome to communicate with us to have the free trial for one month. And after the signing, the migration from existing email platform is totally complimentary. And this is a very special offer. In here, it has been written that valid 31st July, but we have decided it will be extended up to 30th September 2020. The migration from existing email platform is complementary. It is offer will be valid till 30th September 2020. Apart from that, we have a special discount on payment method for Jimba solution is as below. Yearly advance payment will enjoy 5% discount. Yearly advance payment will enjoy 25% discount, but it should be 50 plus user bundle. 
Half yearly advance payment will enjoy 10% discount. Again, it should be 50 users license. For further queries and any information, please communicate with us at 017-3032-3052. This is the hotline number. At Amar Nijan number. Apart from that, email sales at colocity.com.bd. To have your query, you can send us mail at any time. Thank you, Fuad. Thank you to our speaker today, um, Mr. Fuad, as well as Mr. Piyush. I hope you have enjoyed the uh, presentation. So we will now proceed to Q&A. Um, there are a couple of questions that came in. Most of the question has already been answered, but I would still like to share, you know, the questions as well as the answer that has been given. So one of the questions is, can I migrate my users from Exchange to Zimbra 9? So yes, we can. We have a native migration tool to migrate um, from Exchange. Is Zimbra integrated with own cloud? Yes, it can be include, integrated with own cloud. Um, there are a couple of questions like, what are the differences between open source and network edition? So um, a few of it is real-time backup, restore to FA, uh, to FA as mine, and many other features. So do reach out to us or um, Colo City, uh, where they can discuss um, about the differences in more details. Um, there's another question that comes in that asking about what's the difference between Zimbra 9 and Zimbra 8. So the, the differences is mainly the new UI as well as the integrations with the business apps. Uh, there are other differences as well. So again, do reach out to us and or Colo City where uh, we'll be able to um, let you know more details. Um, we have two commercial questions for Fuad. Maybe Fuad can take on this one. So one of it is, um, will I purchase Zimbra services for only one user? So I, if my interpretation is correct, um, the question is, can I purchase Zimbra services for one user? So for what? Uh, yes, you can purchase for the one user, but under the valid domain, and uh, you have to ensure uh, uh, yearly payment in advance. All right. So another question is, um, there is a request for a price of 1,000 user for a year. So um, Fuad will reach out personally to you to provide you the quotation. Um, next question. Price may be high. Um, I, If my interpretation is correct, I assume that is, is it a very high price? compared to maybe other solutions that is out there. What would you like to take this? Uh, actually, this is very much difficult to answer. Uh, uh, price may be high, it's a very easy to say, but actually uh, if we compare with the licensed solution available in the market, definitely it is not higher. Our We have uh, considered the market price as well as the, but you have to compare, uh, Mr. Jakaria Buya, you have to compare with the licensed solutions. The Jimbra solution, what we are providing, that is fully licensed. So I think if whenever you will compare, then the price definitely is not the higher. It's a very lower price, actually. All right. Thank you for that. So there's a few more questions. Will Where will the data centers for Bangladeshi users be? Uh, is it in Dhaka or Singapore or in other countries? Uh, it is in Dhaka. It is in Dhaka. It is in uh, Citadel in Dhaka. All right. So, um, Colo City is located in Bangladesh, and they uh, they actually own the data center. So, um, yeah. So they uh, the data center is actually in Dhaka. So, um, what is the uptime guarantee? Uh, I have already mentioned in my first slide that we are. Uh, ensuring 98.99 percent uptime since 2008. Thank you. 98.99 percent. Okay, so we have 
a request. Uh, can you share the pricing plan as document? So, um, Fuad, Mr. Fuad will reach out to, to you and uh, connect with you directly and provide you with the pricing plan and uh, further details of you know the uptime as well as uh, other information that is required. Um, any more questions? What type of Azure service now Colo City or what type of Azure services is uh, Colo City now providing? Uh, we are not yet uh, any Azure uh, services provided, but we are planning to host the Azure Stack solution in Colo City premises. So, got contact details? <laughs> so, Mr. Fuad uh, has so now shared the, the same screen. As, <laughs> same as the case. Uh, the screen has been shared. The email is sales at colocity.com.bd. And uh, the hotline number, that number uh, in here reflected, it is my number, so you can communicate with me at any time. Okay, so we have one minute left. So if there's any questions, um, how do you guarantee security? What security? Data security or? I assume it's data security, but. Yeah, I think uh, Jimra has all the security protocols to ensure the data security. And apart from that, uh, we are also bundle the Jimla solution with the NTS Paracuda solution. So definitely security is there. But again, it depends on the user's uh, practice. Uh, so, uh, so I, I, can I uh, take that one? Uh, yeah, sure. Piyush, go ahead. Yeah. So, so uh, when you talk about data security, it is a very, very wide uh, range. But talking about from the application perspective, we talked about Zimra has native two-factor authentication, SMI for encryption of emails, uh, you know, uh, integrating with third-party email security vendors like uh, Flawless said they've done it with Barracuda, uh, you know, uh, all of these features, Mappy uh, and ActiveSync, which allows you to remotely wipe out uh, data from mobile devices or allowing only specific devices to access uh, your email from uh, all of these will ensure that uh, you you are able to you know kind of restrict access of your data uh, make sure that your data is not going into wrong hands uh, even if you lose your mobile devices or, or, or a tablet uh, and then in, you know integrated with email security and using two factor authentication uh, you will be able to you know kind of ensure uh, your data security thank you piyush One more question. So this is the last question. Could you please tell uh, how many concurrent users for the video conference? Uh, sorry, what was that? Question? Yeah, what was that question? Uh, how many concurrent users for the video conference? Uh, so uh, ideally around four to five users uh, uh, would be good. Uh, uh, so Zimra Connect is basically a, a quick collaboration tool where you can have uh, four or five people in a T in a, in a group uh, do a video call simultaneously. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you to our speakers and attendees for taking the time to participate in today's event. I hope Jeff, um, you know, learned much from today's um, webinar. So um, that's it for today. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Uh, is there any further questions? Then uh, we are ready to re uh, reply. Or else, our email addresses are uh, reflected in the uh, screen. So you can send us any queries. We will be there to reply, and uh, we'll provide you the the biggest uh, feedback as well as. So thank you. Thank you to join on this uh, sessions webinar and we'll definitely sessions in very soon again and again and we'll invite you uh, with the uh, Jimra solution, what the features uh, upcoming, definitely we'll share all the attendees as well as the uh, upcoming new users. So thank you all.
and our tagline is the delivering of peace of mind and what we do today can improve all our tomorrows thank you all thank you have a good day bye